the entire point in us doing this is also staying mindful and being intentional and part of that is destigmatizing a shelter. We um, are connecting and reinvesting in community and how we're doing that is like inviting folks into our workshops, like using our neighbors and their expertise to say like, hey, do you want to invest in our youth? So that then when they're able and more stable that they can reinvest in you and kind of modeling what we're hoping that the entire community does. Mm -hmm. um, we're also, you know, so we call it STEP, which stands for Short Term Transitional Emergency Program, but we're calling it the STEP House One. There's a lot of steps, I don't know if you see. Um, and that also that if you're calling it a shelter, there's already that negative connotation. It's we really want folks and youth that are living here to feel at home and to feel safe here and then also people walking by to feel like this is a place that is doing good work and making sure that our outcomes represent that. You know, we have um, folks that are ignorant. There's that whole generation of folks who are just like, you know, I didn't grow up with this. It's only one gender or two genders, it's men and there's women and that's it. And so like they're not, they don't understand that, you know, there are multiple different pronouns. We're going to be working through the trauma of all that um, and trying to educate as many people as possible. That's the only thing I can really say is just educate your friends, educate, you know, when you're in these conversations, have these conversations. Uh